What is up everybody and welcome to Everything's Plastic. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Bandai Dragon Star series and this is the Dragon Ball Super Vegeta. Start by getting a closer look at packaging. We have Vegeta on the bottom here, Dragon Ball Super. And on the back here, we see that this is Series 7, actually from 2018. We have Ultra Instinct Goku, Vegeta, Super Saiyan Gohan. We have Vegito, Future Trunks, and Goku Black. You collect all these bad boys and you put together Super Saiyan Broly, which is a very, very cool build a figure. And on this side of packaging, we have Dragon Ball Super, awesome image of Vegeta. Dragon Star Series on the top and Dragon Ball Super on the bottom. That wraps up packaging, everybody. We'll be back with Vegeta outside of the package. All right, everybody, for accessories, or extra hands <laughs> if you count hands as an accessories he comes with two of these open uh, grabby hands I call them but uh, yeah two open hands that's about it and he also comes with the build a figure piece the head for Super Saiyan Broly you can see Broly's earrings and I love the color of the hair man I think it looks fantastic and we all have those uh, blank white eyes kind of piercing through your soul unimpressed expression on his face here <laughs> pretty cool all right let's get down to mr vegeta himself the saiyan prince i think they did a great job on hair usually there's lots of uh defects in the plastic with the hair and usually big globs of paint and all that stuff paint on the hair is actually really really good and no real defects nothing that i notice anyways uh, a lot of times there's big dents in the plastic big pieces missing but uh, not the case with this one this one looks great uh, as for the face I think it actually missed the mark a little bit uh, I don't know what it is uh, the face is kind of throwing me off just a tad does it still look like Vegeta uh, yeah I think they could have did a better job with it and then we get down to the suit uh, the paint on the suit is uh, pretty decent actually over paint is pretty common with these Dragon Stars. This is probably one of the better Dragon Star figures that I've reviewed so far. The gold is actually painted nicely. Uh, there's a little bit of over paint right here, but for the most part, everything is nice and clean. And even down to his shoes and all that stuff, the gold paint down there is uh, great as well. And the overall appearance of this suit as opposed to the uh, blue suit. Uh, the blue suit is nice and plain. But this one actually has uh, some detail, not just a plain, uh, almost like spandex looking suit. Uh, but yeah, there is a pattern in it. There's a design to it. And I think it looks great. Makes this figure look just a little bit better. And we get down to the boots and all that stuff. Yeah, there's a bit of detail sculpted in here. Uh, I like it, man. So far, this one is looking really, really nice. We did a review on this one a while back. Uh, since then, I kind of panel on it a little bit just to, uh, you know, kind of make it pop a little bit more. Uh, but this one, I actually like a little bit better. Now, I think the face sculpt is actually better on this one. But, yeah, that's about it. Vegeta is way too skinny. <laughs> this one's a bit more bulky. Uh, looks more like Vegeta body-wise. I like it. All right, guys, so we had a closer look. We went over accessories, your build figure piece, and all that good stuff. Let's go over articulation. So his neck is not articulated. And for his head movement, it goes back this far, forward this far. So more of a wiggle <laughs> than any kind of movement. And, yeah, you get a little bit side to side and all the way around. So very, very limited uh, neck movement there. And for his shoulder, his shoulder goes up this far. There's a swivel at the base there. There's a swivel at the bicep. And you have double joint pin elbows, which you get a decent range of motion out of. There's no ab crunch or anything like that. There is a little ball joint, but you don't get very much movement out of that at all. You can spin it all the way around. But as for ab crunch and all the good stuff, you're not getting it with these Dragon Star series. And I think that's probably one of the biggest problems with the Dragon Stars is, man, we need an ab crunch. We need some kind of ball joint or something. We need some upper body movement, some kind of crunch. And for his legs, uh, his legs do not come out to a complete split. It only comes out this far, goes forward this far, back this far, so pretty decent range of motion going backwards. And for his knee, you get a little over 90 degrees, which is a lot better than Mr. Uh, Super Saiyan Gohan here in the background, which we just did a review on as well. All from the same series. And for his feet, it goes back this far, forward this far, uh, and all the way around. You do get 
very limited range of motion out of this one as well. So uh, the overall appearance of this one is great, but the articulation is uh, somewhat limited. But that being said, for the price point, still very, very cool Vegeta figure. I like it anyway. All right, guys, so let's do some comparisons. We have Mr. Vegeta here. This is the Figure Rise model kit, which I absolutely love. Uh, well over a thousand figures in my collection. And man, this one's up there. This is definitely in top 10. I cannot sit down to my desk without playing with this one. I love it. But we can see the Dragon Stars is a bit taller. And we'll do Gohan from the same wave, from the same series, Series 7. And we can see that Mr. Gohan is taller as well. And we have the Figurize model kit. You can see a common trend here. I actually collect the Figurize and the SH Figure Arts, and my son collects the Dragon Stars. So we can see that Mr. Goku is a bit taller than Vegeta, which is the way it's supposed to be. And then we'll compare it to another figure of Vegeta from the Dragon Star series. And like I said, this figure is actually a little bit more beefy. This figure of Vegeta is super skinny and very awkward. <laughs> The uh, shoulder joints are very, very awkward on this one, but uh, I still like it. But this used to be mine. I actually gave it to my son because uh, now he collects Dragon Stars. Height-wise, this one is a tad bit taller, and we have the Super Saiyan version, uh, which is pretty much the exact same figure. But just to give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison, and let's do a SH Figure Arts, and this is the superhero version of Vegeta. We can see that the SH Figure Arts is a tad bit shorter as well. The Dragon Stars. Yeah. Look at, that. look at that face. If that's not the face of pure awesomeness, I don't know what it is. We'll do Majin Buu. And Buu is taller than you. Look at that. A fair bit taller than Mr. Vegeta. Super Saiyan Gotenks. Obviously Vegeta is taller than Gotenks. We'll do Gil and Frieza. Because why not? These are similar height. Obviously, Vegeta's hair is going to make him a tad bit taller, but uh, the figure itself, Vegeta is taller. And we have Super Saiyan Gohan, Teenage Gohan, and yeah, Vegeta's taller as well. And this is the superhero version of Goku, and Goku is a little bit taller. Vegeta should be a fair bit shorter than Goku, anyways. Uh, Vegeta, man. It's not a tall dude. Doesn't make him any less awesome, though. All right, guys. That's pretty much going to wrap up our unboxing and figure review for the Dragon Stars. Dragon Ball Super Vegeta from Series 7. All right. So out of 10, I'm going to give this guy a solid 8 out of 10. It's above average for a Dragon Star Series figure. I think they did a good job on this one. Articulation is somewhat limited, and I think they missed the mark with the face sculpt there. Does it look like Vegeta like I previously mentioned? Yeah, it does, but it's it's just a little weird. I, I don't know what it is, man. The face is throwing me off just a little bit. Personal opinion, I think he's better than these two uh, from the Dragon Star line. This face sculpt looks a bit more like Vegeta. This one, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I can talk about that all day long, but you guys don't want to listen to that. So... Like I previously mentioned, 8 out of 10 is going to be my overall score. Let me know what you think of our score out of 10. Let us know what you think of this review. What do you think of this action figure? Do you guys collect Dragon Stars? Do you collect SH Figure Arts? Do you guys uh, dibble dabble into the Figure Rise model kits? Personally, I love the model kits and I mean, I love SH Figure Arts as well. Let us know in the comments below as well. Who's your favorite Dragon Ball character of all time? Obviously, mine is Mr. Vegeta. And Piccolo. Oddly enough, I really, really like Piccolo. And Krillin. And Roshi. Roshi's weird, but I like him. And Goku. You gotta love Goku. Gohan's pretty cool, too. Trunks is pretty awesome. Nah, yeah, I think I like them all. Alright, guys. That's it for me. I can ramble on all day. As always, my friends, if you like this review, hit that like button. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, don't forget, hit that subscribe button as well to give me the warm and fuzzies. Because what YouTuber doesn't love getting subscribers? If you want to support the channel, we do have a channel membership. We do have a Patreon. Super thanks, super chats, all that good stuff. Everything is linked in the description below. As always, my friends, we hope you enjoyed this review, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Keep collecting. Stay safe. Go buy some toys.